Hi everyone, this is Merle Strom. Welcome to my office. Just kidding. This is actually my kitchen. This is the best place for me to open my computer. Today I'm going to replace my dead GFX NVIDIA GE Force 405 graphics card. Before I open my computer, I want to make sure that everything I need is within my reach. Here are the tools I need to open and install the new graphics card. I have the new replacement purchased from HP. A flat screwdriver, my iPhone in case of emergency, a flashlight, a mirror, and of course, a multi-purpose compressed air can just in case I need to dust this computer. You are now looking at my HP Pavilion Elite HPE 510 desktop computer. It has an Intel Core i5 processor. In front of this computer is the sticker indicating what kind of graphics card I have. Currently, I have Windows 10 Professional Operating System version 1607 installed in this computer. So let's start by opening this computer. To access my old graphics card, first I have to remove the side panel by loosening the thumb screw that connects the panel to the PC using a flat screwdriver. Grasp the handle on the panel and pull towards the back of the PC, set aside with its screw. The next step is to loosen and remove the screw from the bracket cover, then lift the cover and set aside with its screw. Before proceeding with removal and replacement, if you find the inside of your computer dusty, grab a can of compressed air to blow the dust out. I wouldn't recommend a vacuum cleaner because it can suck some tiny parts without noticing. Now that I'm done cleaning, this is the time for me to get acquainted with my PC components in case I need to replace any of them later. Taking photos is a good idea. Laying my computer on its side will make it easier for me to find the socket release latch that locks the old graphics card in the slot. Next, with my left index finger, I push down the latch on the pad as I lift the card from the socket with my right hand as it is released.
Now that the old card is removed, before putting in the new card, it is a good idea to clean the card slot by blowing the dust out with the compressed air. This will keep the graphics card clean and will help keep the fan quiet until next cleaning. Now, I am ready to unpack my new graphics card. Here is the new graphics card. I have to make sure that I align the external edge of the card into the slot. Press it straight down until it is fully seated in the socket and fills the slot. Did you hear it click? It is now locked in place. It is done. Now that I'm done, it is time to reattach the bracket cover into the back of the computer. Slide the bracket cover in place against the card. Insert and tighten the bracket cover screw. The final step is to reattach the side panel and tighten the screw. Here we are at my computer station with my desktop connected to my peripherals. We'll see how I did with the installation. The moment of truth. Turning my computer on. Yes, my desktop is back to normal. It works. If you are doing this remove and replace procedure yourself like I was, make sure your computer is disconnected from the power before starting. There are things you need to do before you proceed. 
make sure you discharge any static electricity from yourself before working with any of your computer components. An anti-static dryer sheet might come in handy. Do not open the new graphics card package until you are ready to install it. I hope this video helps you remove your old and install your new graphics card. Believe it or not, this is my first time doing this. It took me about a month to decide what to do because my computer is 6 years old. I was already looking for a new replacement but something in the back of my mind tells me not to give up on my old computer. I'm glad I did it myself because not only do I get to keep my favorite computer, it saved me money as well, and best of all, learning how to do it is an added bonus. I hope you enjoy my video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.